So guys, guess who got stood up tonight? Me. I got stood up. I got stood up. Can you believe that? When I had my hair and makeup on fleek and I was just ready to slay and he just, he just gonna black me. Just, you just gonna block me like that? Like, why? Why? I just saw another YouTuber who I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, her videos are just wack. Like, what well, was it about noodles? Like, she was making noodles, her famous noodles. It's a big YouTuber, so you guys probably know who I'm talking about. It's awkward. But look, guys, I'm being super candid and like, I don't really care if people think I'm shallow or whatever. I'm like, I ain't got a bay to take pictures of me yet. So my camera's on the stand and it's connected to my phone. So when I take pictures, I just tap and pulse. Tap and pulse and strike. Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video and today you guys are going to be getting ready with me and maybe coming behind the scenes of a filming day for me so I'm hoping to film three videos today so yeah, you guys are more than welcome it's Saturday, it's the weekend I'd love to be out and about but gotta do YouTube so um, I'm gonna beat my face and I really wanna like really go for it because I've been trying to improve my makeup skills but I actually don't wear makeup that much so I don't really get a chance to practice but today because I'm filming and I'm taking pictures for Instagram I really want to like really create a really awesome look so yeah you guys are more than welcome behind the scenes and I've got my contact lenses in which I just opened up I was a real I was a bit pissed at first because I was like, these idiots have sent me the wrong shade. I didn't order these shades. I normally wear like a bluey grey and they've sent me like a really like light, like brown, like a amber, a honey amber, hazel, <laughs> a mix of everything. But I actually really like it. What do you guys think? So yes, let's get ready. But yeah, like I'd love to talk to you guys as I did this get ready with me. Um, Just how is Vlogmas going for you guys? Like who's doing a really good Vlogmas? From like the handful of YouTubers that I watch, the only one that I can say is really doing Vlogmas. Oh, I need to clean that off. The only YouTuber that is really doing Vlogmas the way it's meant to be done um, is Jayla Corian. Like not like the way it's meant to be done because people are doing it like daily and stuff. But she's the only one that I would say is actually producing quality content so she's just not filming random crap every day and posting it which i kind of feel like if you're gonna do it you might as well do it well like i don't want to do vlogmas every day just for the sake of saying that i've got video every day and i'm making money off my video every day if i know i can't produce quality videos daily then i'm not going to do it every day that's why i'm doing it by daily because my life just isn't that interesting that song is my ish but what was I saying? Yeah, Jayla Corian, she's actually one of my favourite YouTubers. And she's one of the, like, handful that I feel like I can watch pretty much every video she puts out because she's so entertaining. She's just got such a vibrant personality. Um, I kind of feel like Patricia Bright, another of my favourite YouTubers, I kind of feel like she's given up on Vlogmas. <laughs> I don't think, I think I saw one Vlogmas video and that was about it, so... I'm not sure she's doing Vlogmas this year. I saw another YouTuber who I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, her videos are just whack. Like, one was about noodles. Like, she was making noodles, her famous noodles. It's a big YouTuber, so you guys are going to know who I'm talking about, which is awkward, but I'll just call it as I see it. Um, and I just thought that was a bit whack. And then the other one was like, I'm taking my, I think it was a five-year-old member of her family to buy a bra and i'm like come on if this is all you're doing you don't have to film it like <laughs> you don't have to make a vlog about that like really but yeah anyways who are you guys loving who else is doing like a really good vlogmas that i can check out you know but yeah, like, at the moment, there's not that much going on with me. Ooh, I do have, I have two dates this weekend, one tonight. I don't have them the same day this time, thank God. <laughs> that was a bad idea. So I've got two dates this weekend. Um, one is tonight, and this is actually a second date. So I went out with this guy maybe three weeks ago, and we've just not met up since then. Like, it was an all right date. It was a really rushed one because I was going out that night, so I had to kind of, like, leave him. Um, but it was an alright day. It's really weird because, like, I left that date thinking something I've never thought about anyone before. Like, I left that date 
thinking oh my god like he smiles too much like is that a thing <laughs> like i'm such a happy person like i'm i'm always like laughing and smiling with i think i am but like next to him i was just like what the fuck like he would smile about everything like and it, like, look i'm not even that entertaining like why are you always smiling he was like say a sentence and he would smile another sentence and smile I'm like that's so freaking weird and creepy you know but on the other hand i quite like it if it means that like he's just a happy person or it could have been like a nervous smile like maybe he was just a bit nervous on the first day but i've never left a date before and thought oh my god he's too happy he's too smiley but um he didn't put me off him or anything in typical Catalan style, he's Catalan, can't dress for shit, you know, but like I did say to like a friend of mine at work, I was like, I don't know, because I don't really want to do the whole, you know, fix him up type thing, because should you, let me get you guys' opinion, should you accept someone the way they are, you know, not just like, accept someone, or should you just like, basically this was the options I had, do I not go out with him again, because he's not, like everything I'm looking for. I know no one's gonna be everything, but the way a guy dresses is very important to me. So I was like, okay, do I not go out with him again because he dresses atrocious? Or do I say, okay, I can help him out in that situation? Because it's tricky because I kind of did that with Ricard and I don't know if he kind of resented me for like trying to change him. And I was like, well, I don't really wanna to have to do that again with anybody where I'm like trying to change them, you know? That's who they are. And my friend was just like, no, like, you don't, if the guy was a nice guy and you liked him, like, I'm sure he'd much rather change his shirt and his shoes than not get another second date with you if he liked you. So, what do you guys think? Like, is it okay to go into this thinking I'm going to have to change the way this boy dresses? Or should I be like, look, he's not for me the way he is and leave him be. And then I've got a first date. Why am I trying to talk while I lie on my lips? Oh, I better get this, like, I better blend this in. I've left it on for so long. You don't want it to dry too much. I need to loosen this up. It's literally so tight. I'm not sure I'm going to have any brain cells after. Oh, yes! Okay, blend. So anyway, the guys I'm going out with tomorrow, um, look guys, I'm being super candid and, like, I don't really care if people think I'm shallow or whatever, but this is just the things that you got to think about when you're 28 and dating, you know, you can't just date every guy that, you know, wants to go out with you. You've got to think, has this got a long term feature? So the guy I'm going out with tomorrow is actually half Italian, half Spanish and on paper. That's just like perfection. You know, I love the little med Mediterraneans. <clears throat> yeah, but like he said, like he's 36 or 37. So he's like 10 years older than me, which is kind of like how I like it. Like I do like dating an older gentleman. I do like my men a little bit older, but I do expect a guy that, that is that old to have his shit together. Like you can't just be like, oh, I'm still like finding myself or I'm still finding my career. No, you need to have your shit together. Like I have my shit together. So if you're 10 years older than me, you need to like really, you need to know what you're doing basically. You know, and like, I don't know that much about him, but he did say that he shares um, a place with a housemate. He shares a place with another person. And I just thought, oh, okay. Like, that's not ground for elimination or anything. But then I'm wondering, like, where are you at this stage in your life? Like, do you own the property and you're sharing? I need to be doing my face while I'm talking. But I can't think what I want to do. Okay, let me do my under eyes, okay? Do you own the property and you're just like, you know, um, renting it out because I do that, you know, um, or are you still sharing at 37? Like, what's the situation? Like, is that acceptable, guys, for an almost 40 year old guy to still be like having roommates? I don't know. Like, I would really hope that at that age I'm settled, even if I'm not with like a family or a partner i certainly don't expect to still be living with roommates at almost 14. so that's the only kind of flag that's kind of popped up there but other than that he seems like a nice guy so i'm not making any decisions about him or making any assumptions about him until we meet and then you know we can get to know each other oh that's a lot get to know each other a little bit better and you know 
But yeah, there's like my dates so far. So I'm just going to turn this off for a little bit. Listen to some music and get this popping a little bit more. And then I'll come back and talk to you guys a little bit. But yeah. So guys, yeah, this is pretty much the finished makeup look. I'm just going to take my headscarf off again. I took it off, I did my edges and I put it back on. And yes. <laughs> What do you guys think? I feel like this looks bam. I'm probably gonna have to go to my date with this makeup on because I'm just like I'm not gonna waste good makeup. It's probably gonna be thinking like, what the hell, Mimi? We're just going for drinks, yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. We did the damn thing. Wait, let me give this a bit of volume because it's been wrapped down. So yeah, like, what time is it now? It's like almost six o'clock. I think I'm probably gonna meet him around eight, eight thirty, and I need to film and edit before I go anywhere. So I really need to get a move on, and I need to take pictures for Instagram as well. So fuck. Okay, so after all, I might only be able to film two videos today, which is such a waste of all this makeup. But that's how the day be going sometimes. So I'm feeling the look, guys. What y'all thinking? Probably need to style my hair, to be honest, but I'll go play with it a little bit and see what needs to be done. Mm. So, guys, I'm just sat here on my balcony and I'm about to take some pictures for Instagram. So, yeah, I did my makeup, looking pretty fly, and I'm definitely going to take some pictures to make this look works for me. This is just like the perfect backdrop and I'm rocking the all white, ay, ay, ay. Lots of boobies. So yeah, this is pretty much like how I film. Like I ain't got a bay to take pictures of me yet. So my camera's on the stand and it's connected to my phone. So when I take pictures, I just tap and pop tap and pose and strike and pose so i hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and let me know what your thoughts are on like the current situation like what i mentioned about the guys that i'm dating in the comment section below hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas i love you it's probably gonna be a short video but a hey, what's good look out for the video i'm about to shoot now which is basically how i create my instagram looks and the pieces that i wear so i'm about to film that now for you guys and yeah make sure you check it out we're looking good we're feeling good so guys i've just finished filming for the day and i need to edit but i'm starving so i'm just gonna make myself a quick snack i'm trying to keep it healthy Oi. So I'm just going to make yogurt and muesli. Mm. And then I'm going to watch a movie with my housemate, Jem. Jem, what are we watching again? Office Christmas Party. Office Christmas Party. Has anybody seen that? Is it good? Just checking in some fruities. Oh, did, did you get everything from Mercadona? Me? Yeah. Um, yeah. That you want? No, I was just wondering. Were you, were you gone long? So guys, like, my date hasn't even texted me, so I don't even know if this date's gonna happen. But I'm, I'm not... Date yeah? yeah? Are you gonna go? No. Why? Ah, uh, fair play. If you don't fancy him, it's not really worth all the effort. <laughs> Of getting ready, finding an outfit. Yeah. I was meant to have a second date with this guy, but he's not texting me yet. And I know he probably texted me at like nine o'clock, like, hey, yeah. let's meet. But I need, well, I actually, for once today, I don't actually need more preparation time because I'm already ready. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just polite to like text at the start of the day, like, hey, what yeah. time are we meeting and stuff. Men. I'm almost with you, babe. So, guys, guess who got stood up tonight? Me. I have stood up. 
I got stood up. Can you believe that? When I had my hair and makeup on fleek and I was just ready to slay and he just he just go block me. You just you just go block me like that. Like why? Why? Look, I'm so confused, okay. So this is what had happened. What had happened was like I didn't hear from him all day, which I think is a bit rude anyway, if you've got a date with someone. Like you should like message them in the morning, be like, hey, what's the plans? And he was just like not messaging me all day. I wasn't even sure if the state was gonna happen. And then at like 8 p.m. he texts me and he says, Hey Mimi, how's your day? Any ideas for tonight? And I've just texted back like not that long later. I was just like, hey yeah, not really. Drinks in Bourne. Bourne's like a neighborhood. Drinks in Bourne, maybe. And he has read my message. He's left me on read, not replied. So like after an hour and a bit of like him like reading my message and not replying and it's like what time is it? It was like half nine and he just hadn't even said anything about meeting up. I was just like, you know what, never mind, let's forget it, have a good one. And my message didn't even deliver because his ass has blocked me. Like I can't even see that nigga picture no more. So how you gonna ask me if we're still good for this date? And I say yes we are, and you just gonna block me? And then I was dumping you, but you had already dumped me because you had blacked me. I I just don't understand. You know, it's just and this fine face. You know, the hair was down. We were redder. Anyway, about to take this makeup off. Like what? Ah, uh, such a waste. Such a waste, guys. Well, good night. Oh, flash. Mm. Mm. Bush boy, who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Hopefully, date number two tomorrow. Hopefully, it's a good one. I remember then when we done it, also for the streets. Knowing one day you go pay.